Hello everybody and welcome to a new Revit Pure video tutorial. Uh, this will be a short one. Recently we had Bill Corney on the show. Bill is a design technology leader at DLR Group and he has created some amazing Dynamo scripts to automate interior design in Revit. Bill has accepted to share some of his scripts for free and we've compiled them on the Revit Pure website on a blog post called Three Dynamo Scripts to Automate Interior Design in Revit. You will find the link to this blog post on the video description, so make sure to check that out. Um, you can download the script also with sample files. It is recommended that you use these sample files first to uh, get familiar with the script. Some of these scripts, uh, the second one, require a custom package, so make sure you uh, have installed all the custom package. And finally, the final script also requires a custom node. All the instructions to install the custom node have been included in this blog post. So just follow that and you should be able to use the script. So now I'm going to demonstrate these scripts. The first script is called create families along room boundaries. So this will take the room perimeter and place the family of our choice along it. In this case, you can see that we place bookshelves. So let's go to the Revit model. Uh, you can see right now I have uh, this room. You can see what it looks like in a 3D view. Let's go to the Dynamo model to the Dynamo script. Uh, in this case, there are no custom nodes, so out of the box, it should be working. Let's click on Run and see uh, what happens. Make sure to be in the level one view. And now let's go back to our Revit model. So you can see that uh, Revit has placed successfully bookshelves along um, the room perimeter. Let's have a look at the 3D view. And what is nice about the script as well is that uh, the mark of each bookshelf will be automatically generated to match uh, the mark of each wall. So you can see that this is a northwest wall and this has been reflected in the mark of this bookshelf. So it also automatically gives uh, numbering to all of the shelves. The second script is called create finished floors from room schedule. In this case, you need to install the clockwork package for the script to properly work. You will get the instruction if you're not familiar with Animo, how to do so in the blog post. So let's go to Revit. In this case, you can see the room schedule. It has already been filled up and you can see the floor finish here. It has um, a finish code, SV1, CPT1. And what this script will do is it will take this finish and create a thin finished floor for each of the room. And if there's not already uh, a floor type of this name, Revit will create one with the help of the Dynamo script. So uh, let's go to the 3D view as well. Now let's go to Dynamo and just press run over here and see what happens. This is a bigger script, so it might take a little uh, longer for it to properly work. It seems to have been uh, working. Uh, and so if you click, if you go to the 3D, um, 3D view and you click on the floors here, you can see that uh, floors have been generated. SV1, for example, this type has been created and placed on each of the room. And obviously you could um, modify the materials to have the proper pattern or color for all of these floors, but pretty amazing and a big time saver. The final script is called Automate Door Signage and Wall Protections. Uh, this script requires three custom packages, Clockwork, Archilab, and Spring Nodes. Make sure to know all of these custom packages. And it also requires a custom node that you need to download and place on your app data folder. Instructions are here for you to follow if you want the script to properly work. Now let's go to, um, to Revit can see we have this file over here and we want to add wall protections which might be typical for a hospital project for example and this script will also add a door signage so little sign with the name and the number of the room and place them just next to the doors so let's go to the dynamo script as you can see this is a huge script it contains it does a lot and it's quite complex so let's make it run this might take a while since it's such a big script. All right, so the run has been completed. Let's go to our Revit model and see what has happened. So you can see 
we have wall protections. It also creates uh, corner protections just like this. And next to each door, you can see here, if I zoom in, it's written two, which is the number of the room, as well as conference, which is the name of this room. So a pretty amazing script. You can imagine how long it would have been to manually model all of that, a big time saver. So thanks to Bill Carney for all these amazing scripts. Uh, you can find out more about Bill by checking out his LinkedIn learning course or checking out the live session we did with him, which was super interesting as well. So thanks to everybody and see you later. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to check out the Revit Pure Pro template. Our template is made to be highly efficient and to help you remain organized. It contains dozens of pre-made schedules that you can copy and paste to your project. It also includes a strong project browser organization and customized view settings with the highest standards in the industry. Go to repure.com slash pro template to get the complete guide and purchase the template.